same. You, what you describe is modalism, that's UPC, United Pentecostal Church, as a father and a son of the same person. So what's Trinitarianism? You don't mind this. Trinitarianism, we're just discussing it, is that God is three persons in one essence. That's the official Trinitarian view. Right, so you don't believe that. I do not. And we do not either. That I know. But you say that Jesus is Michael, that's like saying Marvin is Anthony. Okay, well, well, we, we, we do believe that Jesus and Michael are, are the same, same person. person. Michael right. is the heavenly name of Jesus. We do believe that. Right. But we do believe Jesus is God's son. Of course, so and do I. not God. That's right. So, so that, of that, course. That is true. Well, look, are you, do you ever read our literature? I've read the watch on and off for years, and yes, okay. absolutely. We've had dear people at the door, and you're very dedicated. Yeah, My caution yeah. would be that you should be a little more scholarly than you are. That's my suggestion. Okay. So I like it to do. Yeah. But really, convincing the public that Michael is Jesus is a hard, a very hard task for you. Yeah. It's very difficult. Yeah. Mostly, you, you go back to your headquarters and get somebody you know, who's mm -hmm. practiced that. Because it's very hard. Because Jesus is not an angel. The book of Hebrews says he's not an angel. You know that. Well, the Bible said he went back to heaven. It doesn't ever say that. No. No. Okay, give me your verse. <laughs> Let's play the game. Where does the Bible say ascended, that Jesus went back to heaven? Ah, so it does mean ascending to heaven and going yes. back to heaven, you just told me. So, okay, so you feel that there's a difference between ascending to heaven and going back? There's a difference between going to England and going back to England, isn't there? So I'm asking you for a verse. You're a verse. Mm -hmm. Show me from your translation here where it says that Jesus went back no, to heaven. There's no, there's no verse that says he went back. There's a verse that says he ascended. Ah. It's a difference, no, isn't it? I agree, difference. I agree that that terminology right. was not the correct terminology. I, it does it's say very that he ascended that's to heaven. You're right. So, that's great. That is true. Actually, your New World Translation doesn't have going back. But some of the modern no, translations not. do have it. NIV I, 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 has going back. Right? King James versions? King James doesn't do it, no. no, no. no but the NIV is misleading when it says right. going back. Right. So anyway, that so, would be so a So we point. have read that, but the sure. New World Translation says he ascended. That's exactly right. And Aveno in Greek so, means you know, in, to in, go to. In, go in looking at things, if he was on earth, yes. and the Bible also tells us that he lived in heaven before he came to, Jesus said he was in heaven before he came to the earth. He said he ascended okay. from heaven to the okay. earth. So he was there. Mm -hmm. He came to the earth okay. to live. So if he ascended back to heaven, that, that means would he, be going. Right. That, would, that means, you know, okay. logically that he went back. It would. So if, if your that, first premise is right, but you said he said he was in heaven before he, he was born. Descended. Did he descended. Right. It said he descended yes. to the earth. Yes, yes. And then he said he ascended. Okay. The Bible says he ascended. I would so, ask you by saying so that completed. James James said in the book of James that yes. every good gift comes down from heaven. That's true. So there's a little doubt every then. Every good gift and every perfect yes. present. It, okay. it doesn't mean they were literally there in heaven, does it? No, it does not mean it was that he was left. It, you're right. It does okay, not so mean that, that check that, that area carefully. But, but the angel point, and if I may push you on that one, in Hebrews 1 it says Jesus was not an angel. To which of the angels did he ever say, you're my son, I've begotten you? He never said it to an angel, but he did say it to Jesus. So when you come and say that he's a super angel, a great angel, mm -hmm. I'd say, yes, a super angel, a, a, a chief angel, that's what I'm not going to it. I'd say, no, that's not right. Okay. Hebrews 1 clearly says, labors to tell you that he's not an angel. Well, you know, we do have reason to believe that yes. that angel, that yes. Michael, yes. the archangel, yes. could have well been Christ Jesus, uh, the, the Christ Jesus that was on the earth, right. but Michael being his name before he right. uh, yes. ascended to the earth. Yes. Now, we do have reason to believe because of all of the things that Jesus yes. was entrusted with. Yes. Jesus Christ is uh, God's chosen king. Of course. Not only the son, it's God's chosen Absolutely. king. He's in the Bible. Yeah, in the Bible, yeah. does speak of, uh, of Jesus Christ uh, being mm -hmm. uh, the chosen one. Of course. Or, his firstborn. Absolutely. So are you. And through Christians him. are also firstborn and also chosen. Same way. Well, in, in a sense. I, I, well, I believe in a sense yes. that that, that, yes. that could be a, 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 right. a correct. Um, well, the Bible clearly says that he's the firstborn among many brethren. So well, who are the brethren? You are. Is that right? Oh, right. No, are you the 144,000 group or not? You. No. no. Oh. Now, where did Paul address. <laughs> Tell me in your Bible, where did Paul address. The non 144,000. Say it again. Where in your translation, doesn't matter what translation, where did Paul address 
folk who are not part of the 144,000 as you can. When do you talk to you? You personally? To personally yeah. to us? Yes. He didn't necessarily did. Who we'll talk to us? So Paul doesn't speak to you in the New Testament? Not. No, 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 not necessarily. But we benefit from the same information okay. that the slave does benefit okay. from. We don't have to. We don't have to be them to actually benefit from the information that was given to them. Yes. Right. And he told them that if, if they if we listen to them, yes. it's the same as if we're listening to Jesus. So there will be those who will listen to them yes. and join themselves to them because we know that they are truly the ones that are you know God is with. Them. Okay. We so you're getting that. it kind of sort of obliquely, sort of second hand a little bit, but not. See, I think the Bible talks to me personally. Well, I think so I don't, I don't make person. that distinction that you have. Right. I think the Bible talks to me personally, too. Mm -hmm. I believe that when I read the Bible, God is, talk God is talking mm -hmm. to me personally. That's why. You know, that's I believe why. that, too. That's good. That's comforting for you. Yes, it's very comforting for me to read yes. the Bible and see the things in there. I know that I have an opportunity to benefit from all the promises. Exactly. Now, one of the promises would be that you're going to rule on the earth. In Revelation 5, verse 10, it says mm -hmm. that the saints have been gathered from all the nations internationally, and they're going, and Jesus has died for their sins, and they're going to ru rule epitesis, which means on the earth. Jesus is going to be back in Jerusalem. He didn't come back in 1914, but that's impossible. He would be there in Jerusalem. <laughs> so, how do you explain your future? What are you going to do when the kingdom of God arrives? You live on the earth in a paradise. But the Bible says you're going to rule with him on the earth. Are you well, going to rule? it says 144,000 will rule. Like, and I don't believe I'm one of the 144,000. Does it say, where does it say that only the 144,000? It says, it says God there is, will be kings and priests. And that's not and you? Kings and kings rule. And no, that's not me. Okay, but then you're outside the scope of the New Testament. Give me a text which gives a reward that isn't being a king or, or a priest. Okay, well, let's. let's okay, Psalms let's, 37. Start, yeah, okay. yeah, Psalms 37. All right. Where it reads uh, this, uh, Psalms 37, I'm going to start at verse 9, where it says, For evil doers themselves will be cut off. Yes. But those hoping in Jehovah yes. are the ones that will possess the earth. Is that you? Is this you? Hold on, one second. Okay. And we'll just go. a little while longer, mm -hmm. and the wicked one will be no more. Yes. And you will certainly give attention to his place, and he will not be. Right. But the meek ones, which means humble ones, yes. themselves yes. will possess the earth. Is this you? And a, yeah, directly. And five, yeah, not the hundred forty-four thousand. He finds the exquisite delight in abundance. Okay. okay. And who are the meek in the New Testament? Just the hundred forty-four thousand? Well, the meek in the New Testament. Yes, but you just quoted me. Well, you say the meek are going to hurt the earth. And you say that's you. You're going to hurt the earth. You're going to. Now you come to the New Testament. You say the meek is not me. It's the hundred forty-four thousand. That doesn't no, make any sense. No, 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 no. no. Meek, meekness is a quality that all Christians mm -hmm. have to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you too. Yeah, we both have to have that. Have that but you're going to inherit well, the earth. Then. Yes. yes. Have but you're not going to rule. When, when Jesus was not going to rule, no. That is king. When Jesus was so when Jesus was on the earth in Matthew five, it's not sad. No, there's no very happy. No, no sadness. In Matthew five, when yes. he was talking to yes. someone on the mountain, yeah, he talked about. He said, "Happy are those conscious of their spiritual need, for they will inherit the kingdom of the heavens." And what does he say in verse 5 then? And then he said, Happy are the mild tempered ones, because they will inherit the now, earth. Now, who are these? Define these. Are these 144,000 or, or the you? Mild tempered ones who inherit the earth, ah, us. You? The, including yes. you? Yes. Great. Then we're great. Okay. And if you inherit the kingdom, you're not going to rule in it, though. That's no. the difference. Everybody can't rule. There has to be no. someone that's ruled that's over. True. If everybody is ruling, that's right. you know, there's no kingdom called king and dominion. That's, that's right. where that word okay. comes from. Let so me ask you, know, you this. It has to be somebody yeah. that's being ruled over. Of course. No, that's Not just that's the animals obvious. or the dirt. No, no. But, you know, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying <laughs> that. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me come back to you. Let me say this to you. In Revelation, Jesus promises rewards to the churches. Now, are you or are you not personally... The recipients of these promises in the Revelation one and two and two and three, you know, the promises mm -hmm. to the church. Do you, do you, are you addressed here or not? No, I'm not sure what you're asking. Uh, well, you know that you know. Let me make this quite clear because the public is very interested in this difference that you're making. Mm -hmm. It says that I'm going to give certain rewards to the churches in Revelation chapter two okay. and chapter three. Is this you or not? Well, we, we believe that 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 was written mm -hmm. and. Not all things are to be taken literal, but and you 
you should take some things. Some things are spoken of in a spiritual sense. And those churches that Jesus Christ was talking to, that that, uh, uh, that could mean something figurative. Not necessarily this church, the, the Baptist, the Pentecost, and they're going to be rewarded some kind of way and so on and so forth. When you say the reward, what, what, what reward? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to Because he also gave counsel. In the yes. book of Revelation, right. okay. okay. but you were talking about figures. Okay. I'm not talking about denominations. Forget all that. What I want to know is, are you? I'm talking about you too. Are you addressed, yes or no, when Jesus says, "He who overcomes the Christian, I will give him X as a reward, whatever the reward. I'll recite the reward to you in a moment." I want to know if you are listening to that as a promise to you or not. What reward are you talking about? It depends on the reward right. that you're talking about. Okay. In, in, the, in the letters to the churches, he says. I will give you, Christians, he's talking to the churches. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm afraid that you're going to extend yourself on this. But let's, let's listen and see what you'll say. It says, I will give you power over the nations to rule them with a rod of iron. Is this you or not? No. Okay, then you're excluding yourself from the New Testament. That's my complaint. Yeah, you're putting yourself outside. I believe that, that the, the Bible is written for the anointed Christians. Yes. That's, that, that's a huge, that huge show thing. But we also, uh, the, we are, the, we believe that we are the great crowd that's spoken up in Revelations. Uh, the, the great crowd right. that's standing before the throne. Right. Not also the 144,000. That, that great crowd, we benefit right. from what the 144,000. And, and we have right. to apply, you Blessings. know, all of the council applies to mm -hmm. us the same as it does. Okay, well let's take 1 Corinthians 6.2 where Paul says, don't you know? The saints. Do you consider yourself to be the saints? You. Are you the saints? Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure what the saints. Well, you know the, the Greek. You know the Greek word. Ie means the saints. And the New what, Testament. What other? The saints. Are, are you the saints? The poor I said the saints. Come on, this is an easy question. I'm a professor in a classroom. I'm used to doing this stuff. Okay. The saints. Are you the saints? What verse was that? First Corinthians six two. Don't you? I'm quoting you. Don't you know? That this holy one, the saint, the saint, will, will, will rule, will administer the world. Is this you or not? No. no. Then you're excluding yourself from the lens of Paul. That's very sad. Anyway, next okay, point. Well, next uh, point. You, know, <laughs> you, you have your beliefs. Of course you, you have your beliefs, beliefs right? right? I spend a lifetime doing this, just like you have done. Do, do, you, um, do you believe that there is a truth or there are many truths? The, the, the word truth in the, in the New Testament is a synonym for the gospel. There's one truth. You shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. You have been taught some very good things, and some things that are not right. That's all. Okay. Sleep and of the dead, that, excellent that, doctrine. Wonderful. Non-Trinity, excellent doctrine. Right, you know, to, you know, to believe oh, that, you know, because the Bible teaches us that we're all through more ignorance. That's right. But we try to live by the things. That we, oh, absolutely. We, we should try to and do And we, we do want to share them. We believe they're true. And we, of we believe them so strongly that we do want to share them with us. So do I. I spend all commission. my days doing what you're doing. Right. Not door to door quite like that, but I've written books and all of this. So you feel like you have a commission oh, of course. Like, to make disciples of Christ? I've just been in Nicaragua, I've been in Africa nine times, I've been in Philippines, I've been all over the world. I'm only trying to do what you're doing, is to get at the truth of the Bible. I do teach the biblical languages, okay. and I'm suggesting that some of what you not, not all, the non training is great. Sleep of the dead is wonderful. You believe the wicked are going to be destroyed, you don't believe they're going to be tortured forever. No, Excellent. No. You don't believe in the yeah. Trinity. Excellent. I don't think you're right on the angel, but, that, and we okay. that. Yeah. but I, I'm in agreeing, agreeing with a lot of what you're doing. I just think there are some areas where your scholars could do better. Okay. But the cost to you is too great, almost. If you were to decide one day that some of what JWs teach is not right, you're in bad trouble. It's hard. But do I admire your sincerity, your gen Of course I do. We admire yours. Yeah, yeah. We admire yours. I'm not kidding anything. I'm not, I'm not, nothing, I'm not making money out of this. You're straightforward and you, you know you don't mind speaking what you do. No. Uh, uh, and I think you were you're talking about the dead being asleep. It's excellent. It's very good. You believe in the resurrection of the dead. Of course. You, you believe that you'll be in, in the first resurrection when Christ comes back? If you should die before the second coming, what's going to happen to you then? Will be resurrected. And the Bible says it'll be done in an orderly way. So at what point we're going to come back? You know, it says the resurrection will be done orderly. 
What does it say precisely? Those who belong to Christ will be raised at his parousia. That's the Greek word, the second coming. Is this you? Those who belong to Did the camera catch that? <laughs> well, I, I need to... Uh...